Hello, everyone. My name is Kalle Unerus. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Hashlist. Now, I want to start off by asking you a question. Which two components do you still directly mechanically control in a modern car? Well, if you're not sure, I will uh, give you the answer. The braking system and the steering wheel. Everything else is controlled by software. And very soon, also the braking wheel and the steering wheel will, of course, be gone and controlled by software. Everything has changed about the modern car from the old Ford Model T in 1908. Cars are becoming connected to each other. Soon they will be driving themselves. Uh, they will be electrified. And all of this will be mostly powered by software. But it's not just the cars. The entire future of the mobility industry will be software defined. Uh, we are speaking about everything from logistics, transport, millions of data points connected from thousands of on millions of vehicles every minute. And that is all analyzed and given for predictive maintenance. We have the entire, uh, all the aviation sector, everything um, about trucks. The entire mobility sector is becoming software defined. However, tech hiring remains the number one bottleneck for mobility companies to enter this software power growth. And there are three main problems here. First of all, the mobility, comp the mobility companies of today, they uh, have a weak employer brand when it comes to tech and software. So they are not like big tech where they hire very agile. No. Second problem is that there's an extremely high demand of talent within this sector, but a low supply of people that can accurately work in this sector within software. And thirdly, the hiring processes are extremely slow in this sector. The automotive sector is probably, if not the world's most traditional sector when it comes to tech. And why should anyone care to build a company in this sector? Well, I will give you a bit of a market number so you get a better understanding. Currently, there's roughly 1,000 players in the mobility industry. We have 500 legacy players, 500 startup players. Each one of these is going to require at least 100 to 500 developers. And the big ones are going to require tens of thousands. So it's huge software operations going on. And currently, it's estimated that the need in the market is about 1.3 million today. It's growing about 20% per year for the next seven years. However, there's only half a million developers available. So the demand is three times higher than the supply. So why don't the automotive companies, why can't they just do with the normal solutions that have been existing? For example, headhunters and agencies. Well, first of all, these are just as slow as the automotive companies themselves to hire. And they usually have very high traditional margins, so they are not usable at scale. Secondly, we have the talent marketplaces, Upworks, TopTals, Fivers, you know it. But the problem with this is that they can't attract tech talent uh, specific for the automotive fields, since the tech, tech, tech stacks are, are so specific that uh, a new approach is needed. And thirdly, we have the old suppliers, which just are just as old as the automotive companies themselves. And these are dedicated for large external projects. So we ask the simple question. Can you power automotive tech hiring through software? To source the world's best automotive tech talent under one roof, one umbrella. To optimize matching with AI and fill gaps in teams immediately when they arise. And born was Hashlist. Hashlist is a next generation vertical staffing platform for the entire mobility industry. The Hashlist platform combines automotive expertise with global reach to deliver expert engineers build by the month. It's very simple if you're a company within the sector. First, you post your position. Instead of giving it to HR, you post it on the Hashlist platform. After that, our network intelligent, it intelligently matches you 
with a global pool of automotive software talent that has been tested uh, before you interact with them. Everything from deep matching, HR, payment compliance, all happens through the platform. And then you end up with your ideal engineer. And uh, the typical engagement is one to three years. It's very easy to convert into permanent employees after that. The platform is extremely easy to integrate and use for the engineering teams. I want to give an example of the old solution that is currently used in the industry compared to the Hashlist solution. So let's first start at the demand. An HR, uh, sorry, the engineering has a demand for a new role and they give it to HR. The role goes into a limbo. HR comes back after maybe a month or two with a couple of candidates. Usually more than 50 interviews are needed before you can make one hire. And after that, you send it back to HR for an offer, which takes another month or so. Now, if we compare this to the Hashlist solution, which is software powered, the engineering team can directly post their role on Hashlist. They interview less than five candidates for one hire. Payments are automatically handled and set up in the background, so they can immediately start working with the engineer. Now, what we have been seeing with our clients, this is live data, is that we have gone from an average of three months per hire to less than two weeks. And we have gone from over 50 interviews to less than five interviews. So you can imagine when you do this thousands of hires per year, what kind of time efficiency we are talking about here. Now, what's the best thing about Hashlist? It works at scale. So it doesn't matter if you have 10 positions, 100 or 1,000 per year per company. Hashlist is powered by software. We're able to source from one of the largest networks in the world and uh, fill positions without increasing our own headcount. Scaling by networks effects. A bit of our progress so far, we have been working uh, mostly uh, with European and US customers. We have a bit over 200,000 in annual uh, recurring revenue from our pilot deals. We have a global footprint, and uh, we believe that this can scale extremely fast uh, during the upcoming year. Uh, we have been developing this solution together with some of the world's leading mobility brands, as you can see. And uh, we will scale this to more mobility companies now in 2024. So a bit of our learning about the automotive industry, as many of you might even be in the industry or try to expand into it. What we notice is that automotive deals are extremely large. They are complex and involved. So if you want to work in the automotive sector, you really need to commit to doing it. Because this is not a business where you can post an ad online and expect to get a sale on the platform the week after. It's an industry where you actually have to go to the events, you have to meet the directors many times over and over again. Purchasing processes can be many years at most and at least a couple of months. So if you are willing to commit, and we are, then you can succeed. And I want to end this presentation with a quote that was told to us by one of the executives at a Fortune 100 automotive company during an event. If you can learn to survive and thrive in the automotive industry, then everything else is pretty much straightforward. And that's what we aim to do. Thank you.